Not the good warm-up we're going to see. Opinion to David, who says this is it, this is it for him. He's going up to heavyweight after that. We'll, we'll, we'll see. Steve, about... what's your take? Well, my, my take is a big boy. He, he's, he, he, it's 14-4, the cruiserweight well, limit is with him. He was 15-7 and he's heavyweight okay, this year. Uh, and I think you can com comfortably do 15-10, 62-63. Oh, that's it's about name. pound notes and it's about the pub's domestic the fight since Eubank and Ben, since Eubank and Collins, since those fights. Well, and they well, he did go up to heavyweight for that one fight and an impressive he's victory. He's got seven. He has, had to get down to 14-4 and he looked ripped for that 15. David's been in Cyprus now since September. It was postponed because of the Rugby World Cup, and that only helped him weight off comfortably because he would have put it back on. What would be interesting is I'd, I'd love, love to know what David Hayes weighing right now in that ring right now. Well, we've got so you can see in the title holder, the WBA, WBC cruiserweight in the outskirts of Paris. Let's get over there to the action now. This year, and a very good, I mean, probably the fight of the year. There he is, Jean-Marc Mormac. The UK national anthem will be sung by Jean-Gabriel de Saint-Martin and Jessica Parker will do the French national anthem. David Hay could win, and the other man, the reigning champ, Mormac, who's 33-3, uh, and this guy, Hay, is going to be dangerous early, and we expect to see Hay in the world of hurt on Mormac. Guido Cavallari gives the finest uh, final uh, signal to start the fight, and here we go. They are not using uniform. He would move up the heavyweight as he fought his last uh, fight at the heavyweight's Bonin to try it at about 215 pounds. 200 pounds, that's for sure. Digging body shot by Hay. Mormac hasn't opened up at all yet. There's really a lot of that. And when he backs off, he has a tendency to drop his left hand, and he could be hit by the right hand by Mormack. The only loss in his career was uh, uh, to Carl Thompson, and since then he stopped eight and nine upper head to the left side. This guy really tees off to the body, does uh, David Hay. Mormack hasn't opened up at all yet. He pieces the forehead. Now you hit Mormack, double jab, and then comes by Mormack. That Hay has got some confidence here. You'll hear any of this guy at all. He's also three. He's a bigger man. Mormack goes to the body and right back to the body is David Hay. I think he's here for this WBA, WBC Cruiserweight Championship of the World. Mormack in black and in the colors of the Union Jack, the flag of the UK. Okay. But tell him what Richie said. He's got to jab and put more pressure. Okay. Mm. He's working inside the ropes with them. And this is uh, David Brown. Mormack comes back. Nothing really lands here. David digs a good body shot. Right? And he gets his jab through. Mormack catches a little bit of the jaw, but nothing significant. But that's all academic. Nice shots, nothing big landed except the finishing. And this is the way he fights a lot. Mormack can counter this guy because going hey, back an awful lot. Jab's going back. Mormack finally landed a punch. Chopping right hand oh, early, and I haven't seen it yet except some good body shots. Mormack is slick. He rolls. We saw him against O'Neal Bell where he got hit. And now Mormack is putting the pressure on him. And that's it for Mormack to, you know, keep putting the pressure on him. The first half of this round, Philly. Jab, right hand, right back. Wow, with the right hand, and then the left right hand. This guy can be hit with the right hand. I can tell you that right now. Keep it down and let your right hand fly. You can knock a guy out like that. But Suzuweight is very, very strong and heavy-handed. Womack is in tremendous physical condition. This guy looks awkward, I think, about his legs and whatnot. That's just the way this guy fights. Look at him, right on top of him. That's the round number one, but that's as he put pressure on David Hay. Caught him with the right hand, spun the head of him. 20 seconds to go in round two. Mormack might be in the process of skidding. All right, the bell ends the second round. It's a very soft bell. Nick the rub. Don't stand in front of him. Watch the counter right hand. Misses the left. Boom, there's that right hand. And I told you, this catch him right on the chin. Any left glove of David Hay he has a tendency to hang it and skip forward. So it's Hay to the left of your screen, Mormack to the right of your screen. Minute gone here. Palais des Sports, Marcel Chardin and Louvelois in France. Glad that you're with us. Gino Cavallari, third man in the ring. Good referee from Italy. There's a right hand lead that time by Mormack into it every time Mormack does anything. Vicious body shot. So far, the best shots of the of the body. night have been nice slick move by David Hay. Keep it nice and clean, guys. As that vicious left hook to vicious the body. Shots like that. 
What he's going to do is go back downstairs. You see, again, Mormack is going to see it. He, he jabs, jabs. He's always hit him with some vicious body shots. As I say that, he clipped him pretty good high in the left cheek. Okay, the belly ends round three. Tough round to score. I don't know. I, because of the vicious shots, the I got to give that round to Hay. Comes forward, comes forward, and finally there's the right hand. But that right hand, what happened that time was Mormek got his right shoulder forward, and then he reached by that eye, and then throw the right hand, and he take his head off. He, even if he doesn't let the left hand go right now, because he's coming back with those vicious left hooks on the body. This is the angle he's got to come in at. There's the right hand there, but that's not the one I'm looking to get that left hand up a little bit. But, he, you know, he's, he's hitting with such great body shots. I don't want to cut again. You watch for it. Sooner or later, just pick this up. Oh, and he hits him with a good shot. And he hurt him, hit him with the right hand, and he's oh. down up with the right. Oh. Hey, he jumps right back up. And you know something, folks? It's a lot of time. 126. Mormack comes in. He continues to hang that left hand down. He seems to be back, but he's wobbled on his leg. Mormack comes forward, catches him, just misses him. And Mormack has realized that he throws the right hand, catches him again with the right hand, but he doesn't dump him. I'll but tell you this, him. David Hay is ready to go again, but he comes back and clips him with a pretty good he should have jumped right on him when he because it took the referee about 10 seconds to explain it to him. And meanwhile, that dropped David Hay, and then he hit him with another following right, and he's hitting him again. Hay has got to get that up there. There's the right hand again. The bell ends the fourth round again. It's a very light bell, so they're going to continue. It's a two-point round for him in the fight. Watch this left hook right there in the right hand. Just grazed him. He really didn't get a nice job scrambling. Watch it. Hey, when he gets hit and realizes he's in a bit of trouble, he does a nice job canvas here, and that causes him problems. He slips and his legs go from underneath him. And Jack, flag of the UK, and he catches more mech, more mech. There's the left hook up there. He's thrown more headshots in this round than I've survived the first three or four rounds. Well, he's done that. Now to survive the middle rounds of this fight. Late rounds, we know more mech is going to be very strong. All that's neutralized. His legs, by the way, are totally back. There's another one underneath him that he scrambled. Uppercut, right hand again. Oh, and left in hand. the white trunks of the Union Jack. There's the right hand again. Right hand's there on the light. Left hand gets to the shoulder. Boy, Mormack has got to be the, the, the right hand. And he comes in. Sneaky, the guy comes with an uppercut. Look at this again. England was a... Not to take it at me. But the bell ends. That was a pretty good even because uh, there wasn't too much between here. Richie Giacchetti giving the signals as the uppercut catches him. And back with those body shots. Well, body shots usually, you know, you break the body down. They say the head will follow, but the head has this followed. And uh, that to me is a very, very close round. The fifth round. All right, we're getting ready to go to round on the... A ring pad, and it is a more mech fairly low blow that time by more mech uh, below the hip. And, you know, he's going head hunting with the right hand. Nice. He's tough uppercut by David Hay. Hay cracks him with the left Mormack. hand. More mech with his own right hand. The right hand is there all night for more mech. Loads up the right hand. He caught more mech. Nice weight, to not having to drop from 215 down to 200. He's the weight championship of the world. Defend it once or Way. twice. And then, I think this is a Hay round in my book. Mormack hasn't done much in the sixth round at all. And there's the bell. So I've got this fight dead even at the sixth the round. round. He's only got two assaults in him in a round. Okay. All right. Drink it. Make him boxer. Hey. Make him boxer. Hey, Fence. <laughs> David Hay exposing his left side. Can't really land a vicious blow. And his David Hay caught him with a couple of good shots. Good. Vicious body shots. Well, he's landed that uh, right hand power shot. With now Mormack's starting to get hit, and down he goes! Mormack may not be able to recover! And five, and six, it looks like he'd be ending it up, and seven, and eight, barely up as Jean-Marc Mormack, it's all over! Hey! Knocked out, Jean-Marc Mormack! It'll be scored as a seventh round! Technical knockout victory, Guido Cavallari looks into the eyes of Jean-Marc champion of the world. His name is David Hay. Look at this! Watch this! Right there, he cracked him with the left hand. Right hand, vicious body shots, but it was the uppercut that did the damage. Skipping forward, all she wrote.
Watch this shot. He's turning his head away a little bit behind the ear, but when the guy's turning away, there's nothing you can do about it. You see his hand, Cormac did get up, but he wonder where the career of Mormek goes. This round was a very close round, but I thought Hay definitely won the sixth hey. round. Which, boy, he unleashed the power, and when he did, that's all she wrote. So the round eight, hey. finish him off, and then man, he got cracked with that left hand. Watch this right. Yeah, that was partially blocked on the. This was earlier in the fight when Mohamed was putting shot. And then that uppercut is what set it up. That uppercut snapped the, the brain stem and then the right hand.